Hey guys, I do is come take your brain. Another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Sunday. Today I want to go over uh uh help this lab 2025 part five. Obviously, if you know my channel, you know what to do. Rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. So we're gonna do the lab today. Uh I know I've been doing it on Sunday instead of Saturday. I, I I've been busy watching some nice boxing matches, some fights, you know. So let me share my screen and go over this real quick. Shouldn't be that long, but Let's go over some basic stuff with you. All right, so let's see here. Share three. So you guys should be able to see my screen. All right, so we have our Windows 11 machine on the right. And we have our server right here on the side of it. And obviously, you could make this a lot bigger if you want. Entirely up to you. So what we're going to do is we're going to replicate some IT issues for help desk. So, and I've done this before in a previous video. So this guy, Mark, hypothetically, let's just say, let's just say he's no longer part of the company anymore. So we're gonna go to Active Directory and Tools. And we're gonna look for him real quick over here. And we're gonna disable his account. And then we're gonna restart this machine. If you notice the account, like look at it carefully, there's an arrow pointing down, which means his account is disabled. So he should not be able to log in. It sure it shouldn't work at all. Right. So looks like it's rebooted. But that sometimes what happens with Windows machines is it remember a uh, stores the credentials and the user account on that machine. So what I could do is, I'm gonna sign out real quick, right? And I'm gonna do, how to sign to another domain. So I'm gonna do desktop zero one. So what, I, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to log into the local account, which I just successfully did, right? And he's an admin. So Kevin is an admin. So I'm going to go to properties. Well, advanced system, system settings. And I'm going to go to user profiles. And I'm going to delete. I'm going to delete Mark. I'm going to completely remove him from, from this Windows machine. Then what I'm gonna do is, to see I'm not I'm not able to replicate the disabled account is issue. I'm gonna sign out and sign back in as Mark because now he's no longer there, right? So it shouldn't work at this point. So just signing out real quick. Sometimes you have to delete the account in order to replicate the problem, which is what I was trying to do. And I'm gonna put his name here. There we go. He's not able to log in anymore. Then you could go back here. You could play around with it. Like you go here, do login hours, you just turn it off 100%. Hit apply, hit OK. Then you could just enable his account if you want. And you see, like, you get different error messages when you do these things, right? So the account has time restrictions that prevent you from signing in at this time. Please try again later. You go back here, you just enable it again, right? And then you go all the way back in time, hit apply, hit okay, right? Let me close, close out of that. Um, so this is, the account is expired. Let's try that one. So user account has expired. So you got another error message. So this is something you would replicate in your work environment. Does that make sense? Like you could do that. 
sometimes you get consultants that they only have a certain amount of days that they can work. So that's why they would be good until like a month or a month and a half. And then you have to ex extend their account, if that makes sense. So in this case, I'll put never. And then we're going to go to tools, group policy. And we I open up group policy. You have your forest, you have your domains, you have your default group policy. You have your default group policy right here. So you're going to do edit. And we're going to go into Windows Administration Security Settings. And we're going to do uh, Password Policy, not define. Not define, not define. Right? Nothing is defined here. So you're going to kill that one for a second. Give me a second. It's actually this one, Default Domain Policy. And we're gonna change this. So uh, maximum password age is gonna be 30 days. In some work environments is 90 days, 120. It really depends on the work environment. Some companies have no defined policy. Like this would be turned off. I'm gonna put 90 days. And then minimum password age, one day. Minimum, like length should be more than 12 characters. So like if you're doing an audit, they're gonna recommend 12 characters. I'm not gonna I'm gonna leave it alone as it is. And then lockout policy. I'm gonna set it to three. The lockout duration, it says 30 minutes. Actually, in, in like IT or cybersecurity, uh it would be. 360 minutes. Uh, that would just be me. Like, I don't want someone to learn, trying to log in after 30 minutes. Just trying to prevent like a brute force attack. You gonna put it like a certain amount of length, if that makes sense. And then reset account lockout counter. And it tells you what it is. If you go to the explanation, it tells you what it is. You could extend that if you want. Uh, and then that's it. So like, if I go here. I should go back to new policy. Sorry, guys. Uh, and then we're going to right click on it. Uh, enforce policy. Enforce, yeah. So we're going to go here. We're going to type CMD. We're going to do net user mark. Slash domain. So his password last set 97, password expires set 19. I'm going to try to log in as Mark. Should let me in. Do you see I, I was able to successfully log in? And these are things that you would do in your work environment. You would reset their password. Um, you would lock their account if they're like, uh, sorry, no, take the third users' computers. You would lock their account and they just they just got removed from the company environment or work environment. You would you would disable their account, things like that. You know, those are things that you should be practicing. So it's just trying to log me in again. If you go into CMD, you do GP result, do GP result R, it gives you more stuff about the policies, right? Maybe the net user mark, slash domain, it tells you the last set expires 1019. And if we go back to tools, then we go back to group policy. We could see like, it's gonna tell me to add this. We could see like all the policies here that we just set up. So minimum password is ninety days. 
all that is there. So we do edit. Ninety days is right there. I think it's in force right now at this point. Ninety days. Enforce password history. Twenty four days. Seven days. Ninety days. It's not gonna have anything. Is that that's the right one? And if you want, if you want to mess around with it, this is three valid, three invalid attempts for lockout, right? So. Obviously, a work environment is different. This is where you would practice logging in with Merck and try to log out, try to lock out his account. See, now it's locked out, right? So that would happen in real life. You'll get a customer call you that, oh, my account got locked out. I can't log in, blah, 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 right? So it's not rocket science or it's not complicated. When I first started get, getting into IT and I worked at an MSP company and I got my job working at an MSP company and they didn't they hired me because I knew I knew about Active Directory. I learned about Active Directory, right? So this is something that you didn't know. Whether there's intro ID or Active Directory, right? You have to know how to do this. So like I said, you would go to tools, there's group policy here, use the computers, double click on mark. Unlock his account. Oh, yeah. Try again. Mark, try logging in again. So, obviously, they would be able to log in. And then that's it. Nothing nothing crazy. Nothing out of the ordinary. And then that's it. So, this is super easy. I want to start adding software on, on these machines now for the next video. But just want to go over group policy a little bit. Don't worry. We're going to add more stuff to group policy. That was just for fun. Hopefully, this makes sense. Hopefully, this helps you out. Uh, just a refresher for people that have watched my videos before you already know what this is for someone that's brand new. Hopefully this helps you out with that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday and take care.